Okay, so we're gonna do one of the classic demonstrations here uh, that is often referred to as the screaming gummy bear. Uh, we're actually gonna do a couple of them here. We're gonna do um, a skittle first. Uh, skittles are pretty entertaining when you do this. And then we're gonna do a gummy bear uh, to finish up. So in this uh, process, what we're going to be doing is uh, preparing some molten potassium chlorate so that's what I have here in the container um, in this uh, ignition tube. And then we're going to add our Skittle to that molten potassium chlorate. So let's go ahead and uh, start melting our potassium chlorate. I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit so that we're getting nice uh, even heating. And you'll start to see that potassium chlorate begin to melt momentarily. Okay, so now if you look, you can start to see um, some potassium chlorate uh, liquid forming. So we're gonna let that go for just a couple of uh, seconds longer here. And then we're gonna add our Skittle to that mixture. Okay. We're going to have Jude reach in here, and he's going to drop the Skittle in. Go ahead, Jude. Okay, so the reaction that you just observed was the oxidation of the sugar um, in the Skittle. So uh, if we, uh, once we uh, the, allow that uh, tube to cool, what we're going to find is there's a big um, fat piece of carbon uh, left in the tube uh, after it reacted with potassium chloride, after it underwent its oxidation. Okay, here we go with the screaming gummy bear. So we're going to um, get our potassium chlorate melted again. All right, so we have molten potassium chlorate. So at this point, um, Adam is going to reach in here. He's gonna drop that gummy bear straight down in and let's watch the fireworks. Bye bye gummy bear. <laughs> 